Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the awesomeness that is this channel. Today's video, we're going to talk about why people feel the need to say stupid things, particularly famous people. Now, you might be thinking, celebrities say stupid things all the time. There are some people who just put their foot in their mouth, and I'm just like, really? Why? So, I was reading on Twitter a couple of articles about two very lovely women who we all know and love. In particular, Gwyneth Paltrow and Charlize Theron. Now, if you're wondering why I'm talking about these two ladies in particular, that's because these two ladies are a prime example of when you need to shush and not say anything. So, Gwyneth Paltrow has a history of doing this. You know, it's nothing new for her. You know, she tends to be kind of like a know-it-all. Recently, girlfriend decided to take it one step further and she compared walking the red carpet to going to war. Because that's the Gwyneth we know and love. And that's the kind of stuff that we expect her to say. And when I read this, I thought, oh, Gwenny, 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 Gwenny. No. How the hell are you going to sit there and compare walking a red carpet at a premiere in a, like, couture gown, looking fabulous, all done up with people screaming your name and admiring you to being in a combat zone? Like, really, Chica? No. That's not cool. Like, you can't say things like that. This is just not okay. Like, nah. -uh. Ugh, like, I can't with her. Like, honestly, there should be a rule. Like, what would Gwyneth Paltrow do? And whatever she would do, do the opposite. <laughs> because clearly what she does is not working. And then next, this little ditty, well, is, is quite interesting, actually. Um, Charlize Theron, who I really like. I think she's kind of cool. Um, she's been in some really fun movies. She's been in Monster, which she won an Oscar for. She was in Young Adult. She's now in A Million Ways to Die in the West with Seth, with Seth MacFarlane, which is pretty cool. Um, and she recently compared um, being the intrusion of the press on her privacy to being raped. When I saw this, at first I had no idea what, what, what the whole story was because I think sometimes you do have a tendency to grab a little piece of information and blow it up to a bigger scale. So I thought I'm going to do a little investigating before I talk about this because I don't want to look like an, I want to make sure I have all the facts. So I was reading an article on exactly what she said and she in fact did compare the press intrusion to being raped. I was just like mortified on a number of different levels. Number one, because I feel like, you know, comparing those two things, it's like comparing apples and oranges. And one thing has nothing really to do with the other. Um, two, it was very insensitive to say, obviously, rape is not a joke. Rape is something that is not to be taken lightly. It is very serious. It is very damaging. There is a lot of... It's just not something you joke about. I personally get very uncomfortable when people joke about it. And I'm just like, you know what? There's just certain lines that people shouldn't cross. And that's kind of one of them. And thirdly... It just makes you sound like, you know, it just doesn't make me feel bad for you. Like, if this was designed to make me feel sorry for you, it's like, listen, you chose this life. You chose to put your life out there in the public eye where everybody can scrutinize you. You have no right to sit there and complain about it and say, oh, well, people invade your privacy. It's like, yes, yeah, so what? Like, you chose to be a star. Do I think that you know, the press takes things too far sometimes? Yes, I do. Do I think they need boundaries? Absolutely. But to sit there and compare, you know, a horrible act of violence to, you know, people asking you too many questions 
or invading your privacy, I'm just not cool with that. And it's just like, I don't know, I feel like when celebrities say things like this, they say these things and then they put out a big statement saying, oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean it that way, it was misconstrued, blah, blah, blah. It's like, how about you don't say anything to be sorry for? How about you don't say anything, you have to write a press release out to apologize to people? I mean, listen, I respect people who are, are, you know, who aren't afraid to speak their minds. I do. I'm not saying that, you know, people who speak their minds are bad people. Like, I think that that is what makes people endearing. It's, the problem is, it's when people speak their mind, but they do it in a way that it crosses a line into like insensitivity territory and then it's just like oh um I don't know I mean it's just very difficult to like these are basically extreme examples I will say of that um but I think that at the end of the day you know think before you speak Listen, life lessons for everybody. We learn and we figure it out and we move on. So question of the day. Have you ever said anything that you've regretted? I know I sure have. (laughs) I will see you next time. And until then, have a great rest of your weekend. And I will see you soon. Bye.